Yo, what up, street dog, street god, street dog, because the butt dog. All right, Urkim the house. All right, uh, first turbo thought. Um, the turbo thought is it is better to set yourself a super duper insanely epic, insane goal and fall a little short of it than to set some sort of basic goal and obtain it. So, uh, so to quote my best friend Kanye West, you know, name one Jesus ain't crazy. So, for example, I think the reason why we should admire our best friend Elon Musk is because, you know, his audacity and his quote quote insanity is actually by far his greatest uh, feature. It's a feature, not a bug, right? And so, can you, can you imagine the past? I'm going to design a rocket ship that flies up and then flies back down and is reusable. It's like, what? You're crazy, right? What, you smoking crack, bro? Or like, I'm going to start a car company, electric car company, da -da -da -da, and I'm going to design a car that could go to 0, 60 in 1.99 seconds and be a tenth the cost of a hypercar. People are like, you smoking crack? Let me get some of that. Um, so, for example, one of my insanely audacious goals, uh, I want to Atlas lift a thousand pounds, maybe a thousand five hundred pounds, maybe a thousand two hundred pounds, a thousand one hundred pounds. See if I get it. Uh, Rather than like, I want to score two plates or three plates or four plates or five plates or six plates. To me, it's like seven plates or nothing. Uh, yeah, and I just did a rack pull of seven plates at 10 and a two and a half. Or was it 705 pounds or in 10 pounds? I kind of lost track uh, at this point. The, the secret is in your legs. Anything that you could do to optimize your leg strength is a good thing. Buy compression clothing, Lululemon. Uh, shout out to their team. Oh, if you need any sort of fitness marketing suggestions or consulting shoot a an email to the eric kim corporation at eric at eric kim.com uh lots of turbo thoughtage could come your ways so yeah i think uh carpe diem sees today etc it means first and foremost the right clothes right like it's kind of cold in socal right now i'm wearing a lululemon uh, compression top i think this is the vital drive series licensed train i don't even know and then uh uh a muji down vest so just spend a shitload of money on warm clothes like if you're somewhere in the east coast or somewhere it's cold dude drop the five thousand dollars on a canada goose jacket way better than uh buying an expensive uh car like i uh, just inherited my mom's old 2009 hyundai sonata got it for free 99 spent about maybe two thousand dollars to to fix it I updated it is like a brand new car for two thousand dollars it's the best deal of a lifetime like all y'all people spending money on tesla and ranges i'm like you guys are you guys are uh unwise um even the thought too is like don't buy a tesla just buy tesla stock right people drop to like fifty thousand seventy thousand eighty thousand a hundred thousand hundred twenty thousand on a tesla i'm like not the the real way to wealth is to buy a tesla stock how's it going enjoying the sun enjoying the sun Dan, you're looking so, so good. So who's better, mommy or daddy? Wow, your hair is looking so nice. Both? The best secret is I'm the best. <laughs> or saying the best is whoever gives me more love and attention. Who gives me more Taekwondo lessons? Taekwondo class. Oh, so the question is who would win in a fight, mommy or daddy? Huh? Say I would win in a fight. Yeah, you guys, you guys staying nice and warm. Yeah. Seneca just turned uh, two years old. He's he's also getting really into uh, basketball. I take him to uh, Rodeo Thirty Nine and have him play with the little mini basketball hoops. He's gonna be the next Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Oh really? Where's your where's your uh, where's your uh, sunglasses? Just say, Dad, give me your sunglasses. Oh, thanks, Whoa, how tall are you now? Like five foot four? No. Five foot five? Four foot two, maybe. Wow. Well, the good thing is that because you got daddy's jeans, you'll be at least six foot one. Yeah. At least. Oh, wow. And the secret is you eat a lot of vegetables. Five, Lots of vegetables. Five, six, five, seven. Let's say, let's say five, seven and a half. Six, six. I actually saw, um, I went to the gym. I saw a lady. 
she was like she used to do track and field she was six one and her uh her boyfriend was six seven so the secret is eat lots of vegetables do lots of taekwondo and eat lots of uh bone marrow Ooh. Ooh. Do you like do you like to eat pho? Yeah. So you know pho, you have the bones. There's the stuff inside the bones. He only sees the after. Oh, just just ask mom. Say, show me the bone marrow. The bone marrow is a superfood. Yeah, like blueberries. Just like rice crispy crunch cereal. Whoa, I don't think so. <laughs> just like. No, we gotta go. Just like candy. <laughs> All right, stay warm, guys. Um, so yeah, it seems that the, the secret is, um, to think, uh, insanely, uh, audacious life goals and, uh, yeah, spend a lot of money close it, spend as much time in the natural light, the sun as possible. Even nowadays, I'm just like, man, anything that allows me to spend more time in the sun is a uh, good, I'm like, I'm starting to like human being. I'm like, are we just like plants? Like we need the photosynthesis. Like whenever I'm indoors or somewhere dark, I'm get super depressed. You know, nice in the sun, direct light, it's uh, the best. Okay. And yeah, I think that the future is the internet. I mean, you know, publishing your thoughts, your works, your videos, your vlogs, your blogs, your audio podcasts, your video podcasts, anything you could do to propagate more media is better. Um, and yeah, everything is a stream of becoming. There's no ultimate final destination. The more you publish, the more self-confidence you'll be. And also, I think the happier you'll be.